In this video, I'm going to share with you a very simple yet effective healing technique that you may not have considered before when tending to different issues in your body. I'm specifically going to focus on MTD, which stands for muscle tension dysphonia, which is a term that's used for the throat when you are a speaker which we all are, or a singer, which some of us are, and you've got um, multiple levels of tension in the throat due to different patterns of tension over accumulated over time. Uh, and this video is going to help you to address this often very frustrating and upsetting and sensitive issue for some people out there. So if you yourself suffer from MTD, or you would like to learn this very simple yet effective healing technique for any part of your body, stay tuned. And if you're watching this and you feel that you have it or you've actually been diagnosed, which is quite a lengthy process of being diagnosed, and you feel that you have muscle tension, muscle tension dysphonia, whether you're it's affecting your speaking voice, you know, when you're teaching or speaking day to day or speaking over Zoom, or you're a singer or both, and you would like to find a way to start working. And, and this video, of course, is also for anybody because, you know, what works here for muscle tension dysphonia, for example, will also work with a pulled muscle in your knee or, you know, a cut on your skin or a blockage in your chakra. All this technique will work for everybody. But muscle tension dysphonia is something that I'm exploring, exploring. And I'm applying, of course, the principles of the Teixeira lineage, the Teixeira art, to whatever it is that comes up in my life. So at the moment, one of the things I'm actually exploring is muscle tension dysphonia and how to heal that with the principles of letting go and softening and releasing. So if you're feeling frustrated, even afraid, you know, a lot of us have a lot of throat issues. Even if you don't have muscle tension dysphonia, you know, we can have a lot of issues stored in, in the throat. Many, many, many years ago when I was a teenager, I was a singer in a band and I was really young. I didn't know that I needed to warm up that much. I didn't really care. I just wanted to sing. Um, I had natural talent and I thought that that was enough. And uh, I kind of met the limits of that natural talent and I ended up getting a nodule and a cyst. And, you know, at, at the time back, it was pre-internet, you know, um, I didn't know that getting surgery was something I could avoid. So I actually didn't speak. I got some pretty bad advice, which was not to speak for a couple of months. So I went traveling, didn't speak for a few months. And that was a very interesting experience. And I then came back to my hometown and got surgery. And, uh, you know, I then did more singing after that, but it slowly faded out of my life. And I never really dealt with the fear and, and the, th the issues that were there. And so now... I'm ready and I've started to apply, you know, Teixeira, of course, I'm a healer, so I'm always going to be working on using my art to help to heal me, which I've done a lot of healing in the last few years in my body and now it's time to work on my throat. And I know a lot of you have muscle tension dysphonia and it can be you know, very frustrating. You can feel stuck on what to do. And, and this goes the same for anything in your body. So if you're watching this and you don't have issues with your throat, but you've got issues somewhere else, then please stay tuned. So what happens is there's different layers of healing. So if you look at a picture of the body with different layers of the aura, there's different layers to us, just like an onion. And so when you start to work on an issue, you are working with the first layer. Yeah, and that might be quite fast, you know, and you're receiving information from that layer. And then when you do enough release work, you move through to the next layer. So where you begin is not where you end up. So just say if you are suffering from MTD and voice problems or any issue in your body and you're wanting to heal it, you know that it needs healing, but you aren't able to you know, you, you're realizing that where you're starting from is actually kind of, let's just say it's it's on the outside of the layer of the onion. It's on the very, on that brown skin that you get. You, you are working with that outer layer of the onion. And that's often, if you've had a part of your body that you have not treated well, that you've not listened to, that you've kind of damaged, you know, um, you haven't respected, and you have to start very softly, very lightly. So it's just like with a relationship with someone. If you've treated someone really badly, which hopefully you haven't, but sometimes this can happen in life, we make mistakes. And you have to repair 
that relationship. You don't just go in gung-ho and expect everything to be okay. You need to meet that part of you exactly where it's at. And this is what this technique's about. This healing, um, this healing technique I'm going to show you is really about that outer layer and getting started. So if you do have an injury, you have tension, you have an issue that you're dealing with, sometimes we are impatient. We just want to get kind of singing. We just want to start singing. You know and just start doing singing techniques and warm-ups but if you find that that's too much then this technique is really good so it's working on the outside layer of the onion and getting to know that part of you because every part of your body and especially the parts that are injured that are holding wounds on some level all of these parts of us have a voice yeah but if we don't ask we won't hear and we'll keep cycling around in this cycle of injury you know and that creates more frustration more impatience more fear more neglect and so in order to actually heal the parts of us that have been neglected or, or damaged or disrespected for some time or neglected then we need to approach it as that first layer of the onion and this is what this technique is Please make sure you subscribe to this channel if you would like to increase your awareness, your sensitivity as a healer, and help your consciousness develop into the best healer that you can be, not only your consciousness, but your body as well. So this technique is really all about asking. Yeah. Just like I was saying before, if you've really hurt somebody and you have to repair a relationship with someone, yeah, or if there's a problem somewhere in your car, <laughs> you need to ask someone who knows what they're doing what is wrong with the car asking creates a question mark and a question has a beautiful energy about it it is an opening it is a sacred gate in itself and quite often we don't feel like we can ask our body what is wrong but sometimes when we've got nothing left because we don't know what's wrong it can be the best place to start so i'm going to focus on the throat but you can actually use this for any part of your body what asking does as well is it creates yes an opening that we need to be sensitive to so as healers we need to be always developing on our, our levels of sensitivity and asking helps us it piques our sensitivity because we're asking which directly means that we need to listen and when we listen we get information and we can proceed using the principles that we are using whatever it may be for you so here we go so you can come to this area that may be on the defense. Quite often if we have a part of our body that's been neglected or abused by us and hasn't been cared for, it's suffering from not enough care, then we'll actually feel like that area of our body is, is a little bit defensive. There's a little bit of a prickliness. Uh, you know, it doesn't always feel safe. So we come to this area, whatever it may be on your body, and if you've got MTD, it will be here. And I want you just to feel, you can even, if you don't feel good feeling your throat, or that area of your body, just bring your hands up. And you actually ask your body, you ask that part of your body what it is that it needs. You come with the energy of asking. You can pose the question, what is it that you need? I come asking you what it is that you need. And that question is so lovely. You know, being asked that question when you have been neglected is a very caring, loving, healing thing in and of itself. And so you come with that energy. You can ask out loud. You can ask in your head or you can connect through your hands and your heart and your whole consciousness with the energy of asking what that quality feels like. There's a certain resonance to that. And when you ask, be very aware and sensitive and soft and open and feeling. That's the key, feeling the the what it is that it does need and what it is that it's going to need is actually going to come from your hands so it's quite instant this technique if you're thinking too much you'll just clog up the communication and you may have to kind of chill out reset and start again so you want to feel and quite often your the, the part of your body that you're asking will actually show you the energy and it'll just start coming straight away through your hands so you ask that area And you move straight away into just transmitting that frequency. Now, if there's a part of you that's been neglected, it's probably going to want an energy of care. There's going to be a, a loving, very conscious 
vibration to this to this energy and when we neglect something our consciousness isn't there in it so when you're asking and you're creating that that opening to see how you can give to that area how you can contribute what does it need then you're going to be really very much connecting to actually giving more consciousness you're actually increasing your level of consciousness in, in an area that hasn't had a lot of consciousness you see so asking there and you may just move around you may put your hands on that area it may start that first start of the onion maybe just no touch and then eventually with that same energy you have some touch and you can also give yourself um, a massage for people with MTD or anywhere that you have that injury you can do some massage and you, you're creating a connection. You're creating a connection with this part of your body. And, you know, depending on your level of impatience and expectation and all these things that often can cause healing to slow down, we need to be open to that being what that area wants. So if you'd heard a friend and you come to them asking, what can I do to, to care for you? How can I care for you? What, what can I do? When they give you the answer, you don't say, no, no, that's not, that's not enough. Or that's not how I want to do it. So just be very aware that if you've been, you know, creating a relationship unconsciously or consciously with an area of your body that you feel let down by, you need to heal that relationship. And you do that by listening, by being more sensitive, by increasing your, con your consciousness in that area. So you relax your body, you arm contract your in you know your consciousness into that area and connect and give her what it's need give it what it needs and there will be a certain frequency or feeling or texture or quality that your hands are able and then just hold that and soften open all your joints and you can follow the principles of Teshara which is of course continual releasing and relaxing your body opening the joints and expanding into deeper deeper levels of liberation so very simple some areas that have been neglected or are um, heavy or are hot have too much energy in a sense i do not recommend adding anything taking anything away or doing anything like that just listen to what it needs it may just need a hand of friendship you understand it may just need a hand of friendship sometimes that's that's all that people need they need you know like a hand on their shoulder just to know that you're there so i hope this video has been helpful please give it a thumbs up okay thanks for tuning in guys and bye bye for now